Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. Exodus? Exodus? Yes. And we are, we hijacked the car, so to say, and are now on the way back. I have to tell you something. I am very, very, I'm feeling, I'm A, for me, getting comfortable with the game after 14, 15, 16 episodes, I don't even know. This should be the thing, you know, so sometimes you're gonna need, at some point, you need to get comfortable. On the other hand, I wanted to say I like small, neat, little features. Like, I mean, you could consider this drive now boring or something, I don't know, but it is refreshing if you consider what you are doing elsewise. Nothing against killing. One is down. But, I mean, this is something out of the ordinary, right? What you not ordinarily do in Metro Exodus. And this is the reason why I like. So, what are we going to do today? I don't completely know, to be utterly honest. We are gonna uh, use the workbench. Um, we have some upgrades for the guns. And then let's see where the story actually is gonna take us. But that I'm obviously not very certain. This flying thing, man. I think we are gonna notice what it is very soon. Do you see? I like like physics in games sometimes. Like this dangling around there. Why can I be impressed so easily with that? No problem. Spasiba, no problem. Hello, Artyom. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up and... And I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. Yet one more thing, Artyom. Yeah, look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Uh, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Thank you. Pasiva, spasiva. Luck we will probably need. Welcome back, Ranger. It looks like I've been worrying for nothing. It's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. What did you say? What shall I install? Okay, let's go. Maybe we see something new, I'm not certain. And then we are gonna head out, I'll promise.
What's this? Okay. Do I like anything here? That would okay. Short, but we stay with the Kalesh. Oh, hello! I need to clean, obviously. I'm gonna take that. And that's new, right? But it's equipped. Okay, good. Now we are quickly gonna craft us some ammunition. Oh no, that was the wrong ammunition. And what I wanted to craft to are those things. Alrighty. Good, that means we can actually finally head out. Ain't that great? That is utterly amazing. So, did the backpack come in handy? Yeah. <laughs> I told you it was the best day ever. Need some rest? All right, but don't take too long. You really need it at the port. I would like to take some rest, but... I don't see where. Are you ready for that final push? Good luck. And thanks again. Okay, so that means... I need to take that direction. The good part is that there is actually... Still a house, right? Where we could sleep. Quest was spot on with his estimate of the trader's arrival. The caravan is in the spot. Uh, Pots buttons have it surrounded and are ready to strike. I need to gear up and join them. Alrighty. Get to the port. Will do. And it should be actually just this direction, right? Yeah. But we do take a little detour. After I've quick saved and um, sleep to the next morning. In... Oh. I don't know if I... I mean, I could swim, yes, but on the other hand, um, through the things in the water, swimming is not my ideal thing to traverse. What the heck? Well, ignore that. And in an ideal, in the perfect world, <laughs> I will arrive at a location. I mean, now we have... I don't see it right now, right? We have now... Okay, I don't know. We have more ammunition than ever. But, as I said, ideally, in an ideal world, I would like to arrive... I would like to arrive at the location without having shot too too many of them. Although I have to say once we once we have I have to say once we have you know arrived and are shooting and looting then it should be a little bit more relaxed if that makes any sort of sense since we can loot and take the loot from the enemy. What I'm trying to say that we can take. But first of all, my lady, I'm gonna take a quick um, rest to 
to um, have it to um, not kill some time, but in order to be um, well, to have a day, you know, it's always better at day. Okay, now it feels better in the world, even though it is a apocalyptic world, okay. This is the direction. Holy crap, do I want to engage them? Didn't I say something about not, preferably not engaging enemies? So I need to step very carefully here. Because obviously not only the locals, the dogs or the animals, but there obviously might be some, I want to say possessed, which I did not mean. I meant obviously, okay, we need to get up the zombies. Um, I'm not yet certain where the noises came from, A. And B, I'm not certain if and how respawning works, right? If I'm unlucky, obviously, um, zombies have respawned. Okay, this was just a bloody Spider-Man. Are these our guys? Okay, that's the maybe the rendezvous point. At least the guy was greeting us, right? Was he? Yes, he was telling us to come. Ah, look, you should rest up there till nightfall. I'll wait for you down here. Up there. So why did I... Why did I sleep today if we are gonna do it at night, right? Who am I? I have to admit, um, we are probably going to do the raid in the next episode. Let's see how far we get. I nearly... F I thought I fell down. I heard you, but I don't see you. sick while you're running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. Or we just kill him. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... This seems to be the best part for quite their team. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. 
Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. You could rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Okay, that's what we what we will do. Much obliged. Um, although, as I said before, I preferably would not like to have done it, but if everyone advises, then who am I to speak up against that, right? Okay, this I, I, I was not certain which place to attack, but now we know it, this place. Nice, I haven't seen it. So let's, for the last remaining minutes, let's go a little tense a bit into overtime. We are gonna... Is there an anomaly? Is there, I have these... Anyhow. Let's approach them. So are you rested? Well, it's time. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. Just wanted to ask if she has a flamethrower, but no, that's um, the filter mask, so to say, right? The tugboat, I have to admit, I'm gonna need to look up tugboat, I think. But I'm just assuming the tugboat is this thing, right? Try getting onto that tugboat. I'll cover you. Like that. Is this friend or foe? It's a friend. And here I thought I could do it, so to say, undercover, right? Give me everything. Okay, I think we are doing well. So let's get on the boat. And be careful too, right? I could have killed him, so to say, cleaner without wasting so much ammunition. I have to say, I like the... What I really do like, I, as I said, the last episode, no, the episode before the last episode, I do not know how realistic the traveling of the bullet is, because I haven't yet shot a gun in my life, but I like that they are not like a lace, less cannon, or la like a laser weapon, not instantly hit the enemy, but not only drop down, which is, I guess, realistic, but... 
that they are relatively s slow. And I have to say, I really thought at the beginning that I am gonna that it's so to say gonna be really really difficult but you just like I guess it's with every game just need to get really used to the game and the mechanics the ammunition and everything but I think I slowly get to the point I mean, I'm not only hearing an en enemy. To in the tuck boat, we go in the next episode, you guys. We are just for now. Artyom, all the traitors are neutralized. Damn, we shot them. Bam, and they're down. They didn't even know what hit them. Yeah, Duke, you and our team did so well. You shot a bunch of innocent merchants. You both deserve medals. Maybe even two each. Yeah, it would have been nice to take them alive. Well, it's okay. The barges are clear. Time to capture the tugboat bridge. And this is something I did not think about um, taking them alive. Anyways, guys, you know it. I really, really thank you for watching. We will obviously go on here in the next episode, but for now, you know it. I really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next wonderful episode when we enter the tugboat until then have a wonderful day stay frosty